Greetings Marines, Fire here and god damn it it feels good to be back with these modding guides at last season 2 dropped and I come to you with my first weapon modding guide for the new SMG the Vol which has proven to be very very effective so far one of the best choices we have when it comes to SMGs now I have to make some things clear because all the attachments that we can acquire for Season 2 are to be acquired by playing point defense and most people will take a long time to unlock the modding you will see here will include only attachments from Season 1 so this is a Season 2 gun but in order for you to pick it up and play right away as you level it up I will be modding it with Season 1 attachments as soon as I get every single mod available in Season 2, I will use said mods to mod it to the best possible combination. But that might take some time because it's RNG and RNG can be relentless as we all know. I know some people out there are still trying for the Kramer. Keep going Marines, you're gonna get it. So, the gun itself. The gun is the PPZ. 49 vol is an smg very healthy stats it has an accuracy of 70 and stability of 67 damage of 173 reload of 1.6 max ammo reserves of 384 stumble chance of 10 fire rate of 12.5 magazine capacity of 64 weak point average of 200 and no handling bonus it's four stars redas plus five stability plus five accuracy plus 5 stability again and plus 1 accuracy and stumble chance on hit for 5 seconds stacking up to 5 times so this is pretty straightforward it's not an SMG that you wanna mod for more weak point damage so let's say you want to go for consistency and you want to go post for as fast a fire rate as possible to capitalize on this insane damage per bullet to put it into comparison I'm gonna go into my inventory the M39 is 158 per bullet and that was the hard hitter up until now and the Barrage is a 99, the Vault stands at 173 and we can indeed increase its fire rate quite significantly. Why is the damage per bullet important you might ask? Here I'm gonna explain the following. On Extreme and Insane the prime weapons to use for CQW are shotguns and that's for a very specific reason. One Blast from a shotgun has the potential to down an enemy or cause significant damage and your ammo reserves are always strained, you always are ammo deprived unless you're running a recon and recon is 33% of your class choices in Fire Team Elite which is a huge investment, not that I don't like recon, I love recon but it brings to the table the ability to resupply pretty much depriving themselves from another offensive or utilitarian ability in the process. So, here we are with a gun that has a high damage per bullet profile. This is very, very important. Let's see how we can make it the best we can. I will not be reading every single one of all these Season 1 mods again because I've done it a thousand times and you know what we're dealing with by now. It's been months. I'm gonna take you straight to my choice and that is Recoil Booster. Recoil Booster is very important because it gives you plus 20% fire rate flat and the extra stability is not going to hurt you. It takes us from 12.5 bullets per sec to, one, to 15 bullets per sec giving us 2.5 extra bullets. That might not sound like a lot but if you multiply that by the damage per bullet it's quite a bit, trust me. For the magazines I go for two choices here, you either gonna hit drop mag, reload speed and magazine capacity, very very important, both of them, or you can go tac mag, tac mag is fire rate and max ammo. For extreme I'll go drop mag, for insane I'll go tactical mag, extreme gives you some leeway with your ammo capacity, but uh, insane doesn't at all. And you need the extra damage for insane as well. So more ammo and more DPS, higher DPS count. Here you have more ease of use. And well, let's say you have more room to manage your reloads. Because that includes the requirement to 
erroneously execute a command that you will be able to recover from i see the value of fa faster reload speed and magazine capacity because sometimes you might not time it perfectly but you can recover if you have slightly faster reloads here if you do not manage everything pretty much perfectly you're gonna die on insane so let's optimize for executing nigh perfectly with fire rate and max ammo this nets a fire rate of 17.5 now for the optics initially i wanted to go with holocide because this gun can be a little stumble intensive if you mod it correctly but this is kind of situational and i didn't really get anything damage wise out of the configuration so i ended up going with hybrid sights more accuracy and weak point damage are always very welcome and are gonna help you with those headshots very very much so let's see how we can fire this thingy and be as precise as possible Always note that these guns might look effective at longer ranges, but two things are to be considered. One, if you just spray down, you gain a huge reticle, and that was me compensating for a recoil. If I don't compensate for the recoil, the gun climbs wildly. Okay, and of course you have damage drop-off, as you can see in this graph here. After approximately 30 meters, we have steep damage fall-off. But if you compensate for the insane recoil, like so, you can get all your bullets on target. If in the target is the head of a Xeno, you are you're looking at 220% more damage than what you had before. And that's 220% more on top of 173 base. So this gun has the potential to be used on higher difficulty settings unlike some of its contemporaries that are more focused on usage up to intense i would really suggest you give it a go you can purchase it from park with this configuration we managed to clear some extreme content it worked really really well i have no qualms about its usage it also looks pretty sick really high tech really nice and complements all CQW classes that cannot use an assault rifle when it comes to the distance department. And what I mean by that is a technician will benefit from this and the phalanx will benefit from it the most. The phalanx cannot use an assault rifle, the technician cannot use an assault rifle, but this covers the middle ground between an assault rifle and an SMG. So when you need to take the distance a little bit farther than what you would do with a flechette or the M39 per se, this gun will serve you just fine. This is the first guide out of a new series that we will be making for modding all these things. And I have to come to you again and ask you for your support, guys. Consider getting a membership or visiting my Patreon because that will help me tremendously in the coming weeks. This game was dry for a very long time and the vids, well, as it logically follows, we're a bit on the low end of the viewership. If you would help me a bit, I would greatly appreciate it. But nonetheless, a like and sharing of this vid is pretty much all I can honestly ask for. Thank you very much for watching and commenting on my stuff. Streaming every Monday and Thursday. We'll be playing point defense until our fingers bleed and our nails fall off. So stay tuned. Until next time. Be well, stay frosty, and always strive for perfection. Cheers!